every marriage, Lord. Thank you for every single person. Thank you, Lord, for every child, every teenager. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Holy Spirit led me to pray Psalm 144, verse 12, that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth. Father, we lift up all the men right now in, in, in this ministry. We lift up all the men and every, every giant coming against them, we command it to fall right now in the name of Jesus. Every mountain standing in front of their, trying, trying to block their growth, trying to block their freedom. In the name of Jesus, every mountain be moved right now in the name of Jesus. That the men would grow up to be strong, mighty men of God. That they would be able to stand firm against every attack of the devil. That they'd be able to overcome every wow, every, every, every fiery dart of the devil. In the name of Jesus, I pray our men would begin to grow, grow, grow in Jesus' name. Everything trying to block them, destroy them hinder them must fall right now in the name of Jesus that our daughters may be as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace stone father we pray for the, for all the women in in this ministry Lord, that, that, they, that they would be strong, Father, that they would be strong, but yet classy, that they would be strong, but yet, yet luxurious. Lord, may you bless, bless the women in the name of Jesus. Lord, give them where they feel weak, may they be strengthened right now in Jesus' name. And anything that will be trying to block them, hinder them, we command it to fall, be moved right now in Jesus' name. Lord, that your, your word said that they would be sculptured after the uh, uh, in palace style. Lord, that they, Lord, may you begin to remove those things that are hindering their prosperity. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, bless our women. Bless these women. Lord, they've been through so much. They've held up so much. They've encountered so much. Some things, my God, that some, Lord, my God. Bless them. Bless them. I pray a special blessing over all the women right now in this ministry. Bless them, Lord. Strengthen them with their need strength. Lord, your word said they'd be like as a pillar in palace style, Lord, luxurious. Classy, but yet strong. Strong, but classy. Luxurious. Blessed. Not just any pillar, but uh, that our women will be pillars sculptured out after a palace style. May the women have the best, the best of everything. I pray the women have the best of everything. The best marriage, the best husband, the best children, the best house. Lord, bless them. Bless them. I pray blessings over these women in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 That our, our gardeners, our leaders may be full, affording all manner of store. Father, that the leaders in this church, every overseer, Lord, may they be well prepared. May they be well taken care of. That they wouldn't have to worry about anything because they're busy focused on your kingdom. Amen. Lord, bless them to the point they didn't have to worry about anything. Jesus. They won't have to worry about overtime. Hallelujah. They won't have to look for overtime. Hallelujah. Lord, because they're focused on your kingdom. Bless them, Lord. That any, any, anything, any, anything that's called upon, they'd be ready. Hallelujah. Bless them, Lord. Thank you, Lord. May they be strengthened. That the sheep bring forth thousands, ten thousands into our street. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name, Lord, that the, the people, the people begin to reproduce. The people begin to be more and more blessed. The people begin to be in to share more of their testimony of what you've done in their life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, that there be no breaking in. There be no going out. The happy will be the people in this ministry. Blessed. Happy, fortunate, 
In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Well, it, welcome someone to the house of God. I know we got a lot of people missing there. They're, everyone holiday going out of town. But we still going to have church. I said we still going to have church. Glory to God. I don't care if there's two people or a thousand people. I'll preach the same. Hallelujah. Isn't God good? Glory to God. I, uh, bless his holy name. Mm hmm. I mean, we serve a very, very good God, yeah. and uh, write this down, the importance of uprooting offense, the importance of uprooting offense. <clears throat> Yes, sir, I receive. You know, this, this, this guy's a sower. That's my son. He's a sower. You know, we, we, we were leaving to, uh, last week when we went to Prosperity Bible before I left, uh, he came and gave me a seed for my trip. No, my son. <laughs> He's a sower. I said, what's this for? He said, that's my seed. He said, you ain't going to be here. You got to teach, you got to trade them. Uh, I read this, this has nothing to do with my preaching, but man, I just thought it was powerful. I read this um, before I got here. Me quitting anything teaches my kids by example. When it gets hard, I can give up. So I can't and I won't. Oh, that's good. Let me say it again. Me quitting anything teaches my kids by example. When it gets hard, I can give up. So I can't and I won't. Amen. Uh, I thought that was powerful. I thought I would just share that. <clears throat> now, we've been talking about maturity growing. Uh, I know I, I, I did a special communion service last Wednesday, but I was actually beginning a series on, on maturing. And we, before you can mature, there's some things that got to be uprooted. Amen. Amen. Uh, if you weren't here, you need, really need to listen to last week. And start taking communion for the next 40 days. Amen. Powerful, powerful word on communion. Uh, God just exposed so much about it. Before maturity, <clears throat> and before one can mature, before one can begin to grow, the believer, uh, before one believer can be rooted, some things must be uprooted talked about that go to Jeremiah chapter 1 Jeremiah chapter 1 and then and um, I'm not going to go over a lot of the the from two weeks ago uh, but <clears throat> I've got to get to it I don't want to keep you long I know y'all got to get the turkey ready who's in charge of the turkey this year in your, in your family raise your hand yeah we're in charge of the turkey my wife can throw down uh, with some homemade stuffing. No, and I know stovetop. Real. Boy, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Jeremiah chapter 1. <clears throat> the Lord put forth his hand, touched my mouth, in, uh, verse 9, and said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have said you over nations. <clears throat> I've said you over your house. I said you're over your family. Root out, pull down, destroy, throw and to throw down. See, all that's got to take place before the next two can take place. Build and plant. See, a lot of times we're trying to build and plant, but yet there's some things that still haven't been uprooted. Some things haven't been thrown down. 
Some things haven't been uh, uh, destroyed. And you can't get, let me say this, you can't get lazy in that. When you see something, see, when you see some things starting to creep back in, somewhat, somebody's been lazy in destroying. Somebody's been lazy in uprooting. Tell your neighbor, don't get lazy. Don't get lazy. You, don't, yeah, what? <laughs> so, go to Psalm 37. Now, uh, we're dealing with this uh, a spirit of offense. Talk to me. Why? I'll share that a minute. Go Psalm 37. Go to Psalm 37. Because Psalm 37 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, to God. Glory to God. Psalm 37. I'm looking at which scripture I want to give you first because I have it like this. I just want to just, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Psalm 37, verse 3. You got it? Say amen. amen. If you don't have it yet, say hold on. How you doing today, David? Good, praise the Lord. You there yet? Who, who's my hold on? You there? Got it? Got it? Everybody, everybody, everybody just turn and look, to, turn and look at Ed Rose, right, right, right. No, I'm just kidding. Did I get that right, 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 Rose? Okay. Rosa, I'm sorry. Rosa, that's Rose. Rosa. I got in trouble for mispronouncing this other girl's name. My wife, man, she about chopped my head off. <laughs> Trust in the Lord. And do good. Amen. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Another one says, and, and you'll live securely. Woo. You see that? Tr trust the Lord and do good. Yeah. You'll dwell in the land and you'll live securely. You won't, have to, you won't have to worry about what the world worries about. You'll live secure. Delight yourself in the Lord. Man, I'm about to say something real bold. No, y'all don't want me to say this. No, y'all don't want me to say this. I'm just going to keep going. No. You ain't going to do it. Listen. Delight yourself in the Lord. See, you, you'll live securely. He said... If you trust the Lord and do good, you'll live in the land and you, you, you'll live securely. See, so if you're faithful, yes, sir. you don't got to worry about catching an STD. If you're faithful, you don't got to worry if the condom breaks. I told you I was going to be bold. Yes, sir. Say it like this. That's true. That's good. Come on. See, that's secure if you do good. He said, look, just trust God, do good. You'll live secure. Come on. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Delight yourself. Delight yourself in the Lord. Delight yourself. <laughs> that word delight in, in the Hebrew, it, it, it has a... Uh, a little bit different uh, uh, viewpoint of, of see delight. You, you, we think just be happy in the Lord, but this word delight, it, it actually the, the the root word, the Hebrew root word, actually Ephraim, it means to lust for. But so so that word lust, it, it, it don't think negative. It, it, it denotes to have a strong desire. He said, if you have a strong desire to, you know, you know, you know, that, that, that you, you know, you, you have a strong desire for God. You know, you know, you know how you got, you know, okay, okay. How many of you, you got close to God and you, and you overcame some sin? Come on, yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes? Okay, you want to hear some simple mathematics? You overcame God, you, you, you overcame sin when you got close to God. But when you start, 
drawn back from God, you'll get closer to sin. It's simple. It's simple. See, if, 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 see you, the reason you got free from sin is because you got close to God. But when you start getting away from God, you'll start getting closer to sin. That, how, how, that what you were telling me about healing? You got a mic? Where's your mic? I mean, this was powerful when she shared this with me. Uh, blue mic. Um, what I shared was... Because of God's a covenant be, be, God. Because, because God, he, God is a healer, amen? And so now when God heals you, and when, the, when a person says, well, God healed me, but why did my disease or sickness come back? Well... The word of God says that he even heals the unbeliever. Right. Because of his mercy. Because of mercy. Mercy. That's mercy, right? Okay. So now, when people say, well, God healed me, but my sickness came back or my disease came back. Well, the thing about that is that because God is a God of covenant, and when the believer, when God heals, when he heals even the believer, that believer will stay healed because the believer knows he's walking in faith. And in covenant, stays in covenant, and stays in covenant, stays in covenant, stays in covenant, when the unbeliever doesn't. And that's why the sickness or disease comes back. It comes back because why? Because they're, they're, they're not, not in covenant. Walking in they're covenant. They're not walking in the covenant. So same thing. Why do things that you've been delivered from come back? Because probably we stop walking in covenant. It goes with everything. It, it goes, goes with, with everything. With you in prosperity. Absolutely. If the reason we're, we're staying, we're still, we're still in the same financial mess is because we're not really walking in the covenant that we're in. Amen. Okay. All right. Let me get back to but this. I'm going to get back yeah. to my seat. Go sit down. Please. No, I'm just kidding. I love you. All right. So delight yourself in the Lord. Look at this. He'll give you the desires of your heart. Because, because you have such a strong desire for him, he knows you're not going to want something outside of what he wants for you. Okay, so hold on, watch, watch, watch. So listen, commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, he'll bring it to pass. I like the, the, the one translation says, trust in him and trust in his ways and he will act. Yes. Jesus, man. He, when you trust God, trust his ways he'll act he'll do he will he will bring it to pass he's going to tell you that but he's going to do something okay go to verse 23 24 <coughs> excuse me the steps of a now 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 see this right here watch this uh, someone say this is growth right here this is maturity right here mr bestie verse three four and five are the qualifiers for 23 and, 20, 23 and 24. Verse 20, 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Why? Why are they ordered by the Lord? Because that man is trusting God's ways. He's trusting what God is saying. Yes, sir. So then his ways are going to be ordered by God. See, when, when you're trusting God, you ain't got to worry. You ain't got to worry. Am I going to be led astray? No, no, no. I'm trusting God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch. Look, look, look. And he, delight, he, and he delights in his way. Uh -huh. Look at verse 24. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down because the Lord upholds him with his hand. Wow. You see? Uh See, when you're sincerely living for him, yes, sir. you'll still make mistakes. Yeah. But because you're sincere, Come on. God said, I got you. Yes, sir. Yeah. See, he, see, he's, you see, he, look, look, look what we just read. See, because you're human. Uh -huh. I'm human. Yes, sir. So look, 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 what the, look, 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 look what we just read in the word of God. His steps are ordered by God, but even if he falls. God said, look, I still got you. Come on, let's get up. This is somebody, their steps, they're ordered by God. But he's still messed up. Because I ain't going to let you go. Why? Because I know you're sincere. I know you love me. I know you trust me. I ain't going to let you go. 
But see, you can't let go. I can't let go. Amen. Okay. And so, and so when you make a mistake, okay, let, let, so, so listen, this is what you got to understand. When God is setting up to produce something in your life, the devil sets to disrupt. When God sets to produce something in your life, the devil sets up to disrupt. That's, that's the parable of the word seed all day. Jesus said, okay, look, look what he said. Uh, the sower sows the word into uh, gr- different grounds, right? Different hearts, different people. You got the wayside person, the rocky person, the thorny person, and then the good, the good ground person. What was God trying to, pro- he was trying to produce some 30, 60, 100 fold. Um, see, he, was, he, was set to, he, he had set in motion to produce something in this person's life. So he sowed a word seed into that person. The, Jesus says immediately when that seed is sown, the devil said, I got to disrupt this. I got to steal this word from this person. Yeah, let me do it by bringing some, some lack of understanding. The thorny ground, he said, let, let me get them focused on just, on just trying to get rich. Let me just focus. Let me try to get them to be focused on the cares of life. Let me try and get them anxious and worried about everything. Let me try and get them focused on the pleasures and, and, and not even the kingdom. <laughs> and then you got the rocky ground. He said, uh, th- this person, they received the word with joy, but then didn't have no root in times of testing persecution came because of the word sake they said they fall away and they get offended see offense is a trap of the devil offense will, will, will stop you from receiving what God has for you don't shout me down when I'm preaching good offense is a trap I said offense is a trap 2 Timothy chapter 2 hallelujah See, you, the reason, can, can, let, let, let me say it like this. I'll go there in a minute. Second Timothy, that, uh, that's it, chapter 2? That's what I meant. Look at verse 22 to 26. Flee youthful lust. Immature desires. That youthful, immature. Lust, desires. Right? Amen? But follow righteousness. Follow faith. Follow love, follow peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But foolish, unlearned questions, avoid that. Ignorant disputes, avoid that. All it's going to do is generate strife. The servant of the Lord must not strive. He'd be gentle, apt to teach, patient, in meekness, instructing those who oppose them. If God preventure will give them repentance to the acknowledgement of the truth, that they may recover themselves out of the trap, out of the snare of the devil who took them captive to do his will. You see, strife, offense, it's a trap to get you to quit pursuing faith. It's a trap to get you to quit pursuing love. It's a trap to get you to quit pursuing peace. Amen? Amen? Amen. All right, here we go. Jesus said, blessed are the meek. You will inherit the earth right that's what he said blessed are the meek you inherit the earth why because there'll be situations and this is something we all have to work on I said this one with myself included myself included blessed are the meek because why is he saying that because there's going to be times there's going to be situations where it's not very meek. See, meek don't mean I agree with everything you're doing and everything you're saying. That's not what that means. That don't mean I become your doormat for you to run over and walk over. But I ain't going to let you take my peace. I ain't, I, 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 I ain't going to come in and begin to slander you and gossip about you. Talk to me. Now, let, let me say this. I'm, I'm about to give you some keys, uh, but l- l- let me say this. Holy Spirit said the reason it's so easy to walk in offense. How many know it's easy to walk in offense? No, how many know it's easy to walk offended, insulted? Huh? 
is because to overcome, humbling yourself is required. The reason it's so easy to walk in offense is because to overcome, denying yourself is required. Deny yourself. Deny how your natural response usually would be. Deny that. And now humble yourself. Not try and humble the other person. Oh, Jesus. I said, don't try and humble the other person. Humble, somebody say, humble myself. myself. Tell your neighbor, I don't need to humble you. I need to humble me. me. Amen. That's why it's so hard sometimes to overcome that is because it's required. And now, now I want, see, I want God, I want God to order my steps. But he says, okay, but you do know I got to reject the proud, right? You do know I got to keep my distance from a spirit of pride, right? So, so one thing that's going to be required is you're going to have to, Jesus said, if anyone that would want to follow after me, they must deny themselves. Jesus, man. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, to Glory to God. How many know you, 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 you're real holy till you get married? Your spouse bring out the devil in you, out of you. You thought you though you thought you were good. You thought you were real humble till you get married. Oh, y'all better not shout me down when I'm wrong. I know I'm preaching good, Shane. I know I'm preaching good. No, I'm preaching to myself right now because because there'll be some time I don't want to deny myself. I know I'm right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I don't want to deny myself. Yeah. I don't want to be meek right now. Uh, See, we'll try to be meek with everybody else. Uh, but the people in your own house. Uh, let's, keep, let's keep going. Pastor, you're meddling now. You're messing around. Uh, so, uh, I'm not going to stay long. <laughs> blessed are you when people persecute you when people uh, uh, reject you when people de, de, what, what do you say uh, defile not defile uh, despise you right that's what he said Matthew 5 so let me give you some keys to overcome offense let me give you some keys uh, to, to spot offense some keys to overcome, and then after that, I'll give you some freedom keys. Let me say this. See, when, when, when there's a spirit of offense, you know you're battling with the spirit of offense when you think every preaching, it's just, oh, the pastor just saying this because he know. No, come on, man, you walk, come on, man. I ain't thinking about you. I'm letting the Holy Ghost lead. And then you know you're bad with the, your offense when you think every, social, every person's social media status is about you. Oh, they wrote this about me. You are not on that person's mind as much as you think you are. You think, oh, no, they just put that. I know they're talking about me. Come on. Tell your come on, man. Listen. You got to overcome this because offense is a light dimmer and it, it, it seeks to trap. We just read it. It traps you from pursuing faith. It traps you from pursuing love. It traps you from being a real follower of Jesus Christ. Oh, y'all better not. Come on. No, no, it traps you. You really can't even follow right because Jesus said you want to come after me. You must deny yourself. You must pick up your cross. You got to die to yourself daily. You know what you got to do? Kill yourself every day. That's what that means. I die daily. He said, I die daily. I kill myself every day. He said, he, he wasn't talking physically. He's talking about, no, I, I, I kill my, 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 I kill the old man every day because every day my old man tries to come back. Don't, 
see, th this is the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul saying every day my old man is trying to come back. Every day my old man is trying to show his ugly face. The old me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got to kill him every day. He said, he said, he said, I die daily. I die daily. I got to die to myself every day. Because sometimes every day you want to slap somebody. Yes, sir. Hello. Right? She said, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so the, 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 the issue, Rose, is not them. It's him. <laughs> the old man. It's not them. It's him. It's not them. It's her. The old lady, she always trying to resurrect herself. Nobody asked your opinion. Come Sit down. Come on, Pastor. Yes, sir. Amen. Come on. I'm waiting for Holy Ghost voice, not your voice. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, so, so here, let me give you some keys and we're going to get out of here. Listen, it is dangerous. Listen, can I help you here? Can I help you? Perla? That's it, right? Yeah. It's dangerous to feed, to feed an offense with your imagination. It is dangerous to use your imagination to fuel and feed an offense. You know what I'm talking about? It's dangerous to you to begin to imagine. Uh, 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 and, 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 and uh, uh, make up scenarios and stories that you don't even know it's dangerous because that you're feeding the offense. Whatever you feed, whatever you feed, guess who's not pursuing peace right now? Guess who's not pursuing love right now? Why? I'm, I'm feeding this demon. I'm feeding this trap. I'm oiling the trap to keep... To, 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 I'm making the trap stronger. Y'all, Joe, oh, Jesus. Help me out. Help me out right here. Turn, turn. Uh, when, here, listen, when everyone or everything offends you, you have a bondage problem with offense. You have to understand. Look, look, look. look, look, look we, 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 we got to tell it like it is. You got to know, Pastor, why you do it? Because I love you. See, some of us, all we have are, 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 are uh, what was that? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, yes, yes, man. Yes, friends. They're only going to tell you what you want to hear. They'll lie to your face. They'll tell you, you look good. And you got a booger hanging out of your nose. <laughs> Amen. But, but, but this is something I know, I know a lot of people battle with. And so, and so uh, when, when everyone or everything offends you, you have a bondage problem with offense. You got to get free. It's so important to get free because that's a trap of the devil. And it'll, it'll stop you from pursuing peace. It'll stop you from pursuing love. To a point, it'll stop you from pursuing God, Kim. Why? Because you're offended with, with someone else and now it's affecting your relationship with God. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, see, because Jesus talked about how to be prepared for his coming. He said, number one, you got to be prepared. You got to know Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. You, and then number two, he's looking at how you treat other people. Amen. When, okay, next key. When people hate on you or they leave your life, they, 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 they exit your life. When people hate on you or they exit your life, don't dwell on it. Come on. 
Don't dwell on it. And quit trying to find out how they're doing. If they left your life, they left your life for a reason. You, sometimes we're trying to rebuild bridges that God burned down. They could barely handle your present. They really ain't going to be able to handle your future. If your present got them jealous, if your present got them envious, they really ain't going to be able to handle your future. So God had to remove them before they really got into some. Because what God is taking you, what God wants to do with you, especially if you know how to pursue peace, especially if you know how to pursue love, especially if you know how to pursue faith, especially if you know how to pursue God. He said, and the humble, I'm going to exalt you in due season. So if they can't handle where you're at right now, God said, I better remove them out your life because they really ain't going to be able to handle you after I exalt you. Oh, see, some of the people that see you, they're going to get to a point and they ain't going to be able to reach you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. And so you ain't got to be trying to find out how, how let me find out how they're doing. But you know that they're toxic to you. Yes. You got to accept, you know, God burned this bridge for a reason. I got to keep going. Yes. Jeez, are y'all seeing this? Yes. See, so you, when people hate on you or they leave your life, don't dwell on it. Don't dwell on it. You got to just, you, you got to just be able to, you know what I mean? Because sometimes it hurts, Miss Lord. You just got to be able to pick yourself up. And you just got to keep moving. When people decide to exit themselves out your life. Because sometimes it was God. Boy, I like that. They couldn't handle your present. How are they going to handle it when you come into your due season of exaltation? How are they going to handle you when they, if what you have right now gets them jealous? If what you have right now gets them in the flesh? How are they going to handle you when you become a millionaire? How are they going how how to handle it when you find the man of your dreams? Amen. Rev, you can't say woo on that one. Single man of God, how they gonna handle you when you find the woman of your dreams? They thought you were gonna be, oh Jesus, man! A lot of them thought, and see, and see sometimes it'll be your your family, come David. On, on. It seemed like a lot of my family liked me better when I was broke, busted, and disgusted. When they could give me their 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 uh, their uh, consejo, their uh, 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 advice that wasn't worth two cents. It seemed like they liked me better when I was. When, when, when I was, when my, 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 my marriage was broken and I was, I, I was, man, it seemed like they liked me better. But the moment I, I, I yielded to God and God began to raise me up, then, I, then now I'm, I'm the problem? I was the problem then. And now you don't like me? Praise, but see, but you got to know, I, I just, I got to keep rolling. Tell your neighbor, I got to keep rolling. See, so, so when people hate on you or live your, leave your life, don't dwell on it. Listen, listen, this is very important. I got eight minutes. Listen, this is a very important key. And don't assume you know why. Don't make assumptions of why they left. Let them leave. Don't make assumptions of why they're hating on you. Let them hate. You just, you just got, you just got let it. Let. I feel like what's that? What's that lady's name on Frozen? Elsa. Let it go. You just got let it go. Quit. Don't dwell on it. Don't dwell on it. You're gonna feed that. That you're gonna feed that demon. You're going to feed it. There's no reason to, uh, to assume, or, oh, I bet this is, it, it don't even matter. You got to keep living. You got to keep growing. You got, I'm in a chase, I'm in a race right now. I'm pursuing love. I'm in a race right now, I'm pursuing faith. I'm in a race right now, I'm pursuing peace. I ain't got time to stop and, and, and assume. Amen. Amen. 
I hope y'all getting something tonight. Uh, listen, this, oh, Jesus. If you got get anything, get this one. A spirit of offense holds you hostage. Not the other party like you told yourself. <laughs> A spirit of offense, it holds you hostage. Not them like you told yourself. Oh, they're stuck. No, baby, you're stuck. See, a spirit of offense holds you hostage, not the other party like you told yourself. You can't walk around offended. You are stuck. You can't pursue faith like you, like, with a pure heart. You can't pursue love with a pure heart. You can't pursue God with a pure heart. Oh, you got to go look what Jesus said. I already gave it to you. Go back and hear the tape. We don't even have tape anymore. CD. <laughs> or or uh, the, the, whatever, the internet, yeah. Listen, you got to know we all want to be used by God. But God will not use you with an offended spirit. I said God will not use you with an offended spirit. Unless the only way he's going to use you is an example of what not to do. An example of what not to be. No, God will not use an offended spirit. It's tainted. But I want, let me give you this, and I'm going to give you freedom keys, and we're going to get out of here, okay? When you finally allow God to free you from this bondage, let me, I'm, and I'm, going to tell, I'm going to help you how to get free, but when you finally allow God to free you, we, uh, some, of us, some of us, you really don't know how, what it's like to be free from offense. You, you really don't. Because when you're really free from this bondage, you'll feel like you can walk on water. Amen. No, y'all, y'all, no, no. Amen. You will feel like you can walk on water. You can feel like you can conquer anything. You'll feel like it, it don't matter what comes against you. You know, baby, I'm going to win. When you are really free from an offended spirit. When you're really free, you don't know, see the devil can set all kinds of traps. You ain't even trying to be, you just like, it, it just doesn't bother me. Amen. You are carefree. Amen. Just like God asked. Cast your cares on me because I care about you. Psalm 55. You, you, you're carefree. You, you, you ain't walking on eggshells anymore. Amen. You just, I mean, you feel like you can walk on water. That's what it's like to be free from offense. You feel like you could, you could walk on water. It's just like, I mean, you're not held in bondage anymore from people. What people do, what people don't do. What people say or what people don't say. You get set free, free from, from, from needing people's approval. Nobody said I look good today. Nobody, nobody said I sang good today. Nobody said I played good today. Well, I just ain't going to do it no more. They I mean, won't even notice it's me. It's needing people's approval. Oh, no. You're free. Amen. You're doing it unto the Lord. Yes. Pastor preached today and he didn't even say my name. He must be mad at me. <laughs> he always says everybody's name. And for some reason, last, last month, he hadn't said my name not one time. <laughs> when you finally allow God to set you free from this bondage, you'll feel like you can walk on water. That's how you know really you're free. All right, here we go. Let me give you some freedom, freedom keys and some things you need to know, some things you need to do. Real simple. You got to understand you're not Superman. You got to understand you're not Superwoman. What do you mean? You got feelings. And, and, and whenever the spirit tries you, it's going to try you, right, Miss Lori? She, she testified the other day. When this spirit tries you, 
Did you see? When. When this spirit tries you, don't be ashamed. Take those feelings to God. If you read the book of Psalms, some of the, at the beginning you're like, man, this guy's complaining. But he's going to God. He's telling God exactly how he feels. He's telling God exactly what they did to him. He's telling God exactly how they made him feel. And then you see the answer. I'm giving them to you, Lord, but I'm going to praise you. I ain't walking away. I ain't walking away. I'm still going to praise you. I trust your Lord. You see, you, 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 you've got, quit trying, to, quit trying to stuff it in. Quit trying to, quit, no, no, it needs to be dealt with. You need to take those feelings to God. Amen? What's number one? You've got to understand, you're not superwoman. Bring the feelings to God. Amen? Uh, 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 uh. Same, same. Remember, Jesus himself expressed his hurt in the garden to God. He expressed his hurt. He expressed fear. I was trying to come up on him. See, he said, everything you've been through, he, he went through. Fear tried to hit him. Fear. He said, hey, Father... If, look, look, if there, there's another way, if maybe we can do it another way. If, if it's possible, sir, could you take this cup from me? <laughs> Nevertheless, not my will be done. What happened? Strength came on him, and he overcame, and he, and he was able to get those next words out. Nevertheless, not my will be done, but your will be done. The Bible says that the, strengths came, the angels came and ministered to him. See, Jesus expressed his hurt to God, not to others. Oh, y'all missed that. See, Jesus expressed his hurt to God, not to others. That's a huge mistake. Because most people will feed that demon. You didn't feed it. But the moment you talked about it, someone else fed it for you. Oh, oh yeah, yep, yeah, uh-huh. And before you know it, you're right there with him. Making up imaginations with him. Oh, don't shout me down when I'm preaching good. Jesus expressed his hurt in the garden to God, not to others. Number three. Or number two. I don't know what number I'm going to on right now. Put your own number. This is, this, this is the, probably the one no, hardly anybody does, Lionel. Could be so afraid of confrontation. Yeah. Most go to silent mode. Or uh, I call it baby mode. I just ain't going to talk to them anymore. Because I'm offended. It's baby mode. So here we go. See, before I can do this step, I've got to do the other steps. I've got to go to God first, get my heart right. Until I get set free, now I can go to that person. And pursue peace if possible. See, you take it to God to get your heart right. Now go to the person. That way you won't be Petty Crocker. <laughs> or Bitter Betty. You see, now, see now, I, now when I go, I'm not going to be, well, I just want you to know, I forgive you for what you did. That's Petty Crocker talking right there. They didn't even know they did anything. Yeah. 
Y'all haven't gotten the phone calls or you made them. I just want you to know I forgive you for everything you did to me. That, that, that was petty. That your heart wasn't right. It wasn't sincere. I want you to know you hurt me. No, see, when, 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 you, when you get your heart right, <laughs> Jesus said, if uh, they did anything to hurt you, you go. <laughs> no, they, they hurt you. You, re- you were really innocent. He said, you go. Look, man, if I did anything to hurt you, I just want you to know that, that was not my intention. If I did anything to upset you, if I did, look, I, I want to know if you'll forgive me. You know the only way you can do that? You went to God first and got your heart right. You can't do this in the flesh. Come on, everybody says, I will not be Petty Crocker. I will not be Petty Crocker. Bitter Betty. Bitter Betty. Men, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Petty Paul. <laughs> they bait. Now, here's, here, here, here's the next one. I'm about to help you. Okay? Because sometimes you do this. Listen, listen. Are you ready? Coley, sometimes you'll do this. And they'll be like, you'll be like, you know, forgive me. I did, I, and they'd be like, you know what? I forgive you. If your heart's not right, you're like, boy, is there anything you want to say to me? <laughs> Somebody didn't go to, someone didn't stay at the throne long enough. You know what? Hold that. Let me go back to the my prayer closet. <laughs> I'll be back. Listen. I don't know. I, have, I may have my numbers wrong. This is number four, I guess. I don't know. You have to grow to a point that you'll be okay with an apology you may never get. You have to grow to a point that it is you'll be okay with an apology you may never get. Even if you don't apologize, I ain't offended with you. Even if you don't say, I'm sorry, I spit in your face. And yet I came up to you and said, if I, if I caused any hurt in you for you to want to spit in my face, please forgive me. See, like I spit in your face. Please forgive me. <laughs> and you may never hear, well, you know what? I'm sorry, I spit in your face. But you're still okay. Because God set you free. God set you free from needing approval from somebody else. Do you know what it's like to live on that kind of freedom? You can still smile. You can still pray for them out of a pure heart. You can still love them. Relationship may not ever be the same, but... You, the, 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 you don't have to think about them throughout the day. Your day's not ruined if you see them. Your day's not ruined if you see them somewhere else. Your day, I mean, you're, 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 just, you're, 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 you're just free. No longer do you quote who the Son has set free is free indeed, but you're living whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Wow, I feel God's presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want everyone to say this. I'm on my way to that level. Come on, no. I'm on my way to that level of freedom. I am on my way to that level of freedom. I'm on my way. And if you're there, let me just. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number five. Other people's. You have to know this. This is a key you need to know. Other people's behavior toward you does not reflect God's feeling toward you. (laughs) Other people's behavior toward you does not reflect God's feeling toward you. If you notice people are not favoring you, that doesn't mean God doesn't favor you. 
It, if, you, if, you, if you come to a point where you, you realize, you know what, people ain't, ain't favoring me like they used to, that don't mean God is not favoring you. That don't mean God is not pleased with you. But I got to say it the other way, okay? If you find people are favoring you while you're offended, that do, does not mean God is pleased. Okay? So you got to understand, people's behavior towards you does not reflect God's behavior. God's feelings and thoughts towards you. Amen. See, because look, look, I mean, because uh, sometimes he said, look, you're making a mistake, but hey, I, I'm right there with you. Why? Because I know you're for real. I guide your steps. You're going to be okay. Wow. Amen? 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 Once again, you, we see uh, uh, God is looking at are we prepared, and he's looking at how we treat others. You see, one thing I've learned, there's a seriousness of failing to make progress in our Christian walk. There's a seriousness when we fail to make progress in our Christian walk, in our love walk. You teenagers, you, y'all going to have to realize, uh, teenagers can be very mean, petty, bully. Right? Very immature. They'll talk about you. They'll make up, they'll make up mean stuff about you, Aaron. See how they roll off. Why? I know God loves me. You're going to be okay. Why? I know God loves me. I don't need your approval. To know that I'm special. I don't need your approval to know that I'm loved. Your opinion about me can't affect me. Even if they're cheering you one day. Because they'll cheer you, cheer you one day and they'll crucify you the next. Amen. So you just got to keep rolling. Amen. Did y'all get anything tonight? I hope you did. It's time for you to be free from this mess. You've been held bondage too long. What other people think about you. What other people have done to you. It's time to be set free from your past. And let God exalt you. Let's stand to our feet. Father, I just want to say thank you, Lord, for tonight. Lord, we just, we, we give you all the honor. We give you all the glory. Every hand lifted up. Father, in the name of Jesus, every person that came in this place under a bondage, under an attack of a spirit of offense, they're often just trying to attack them just using people to attack them, using people to try and trap them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray every chain that's been causing them pain begin to fall off of their life. Every demonic attack that's trying to keep them from pursuing faith, that's trying to keep them from pursuing love, that's trying to keep them from pursuing peace, in the name of Jesus, I pray it come off of their life, that trap. I pray you be set free. Those jaws from that trap begin to open right now. Those chains begin to fall off your life right now. In Jesus' name, I declare by the blood of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, you are free. Every spirit of offense fall off your life. Every demonic attack fall off your life. The next time the devil tries to trap you, you I, I pray your eyes be open. You'll see it coming from a mile away. And you'll know what to do. You. You'll know what to do. You. That spirit of shame that the devil will try to bring upon you just because you're under that attack. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You're human. You'll, 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 you'll go through this. But now you know what to do. Amen. Now you know what to do. Take it to God. Not to others. 
get your heart right, and then go make it right. No longer, no longer will you fear not being accepted by everybody. People are not God. I just want to be accepted by him. And I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, y'all give God a hand clap. Give God, God a hand clap. <clears throat> Ushers, you may serve the people as we get ready to give and, and get home. Or go get something to eat. I don't know what you're going to do. Sweetheart, do you have anything to share on that? <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'll come down here with you. Um, I believe you just, I'm, I, blew, I don't know if I'm on my own. Blue mic. Uh, you, you described it so perfect and so, so well how to, to be set free because we can't help what, what, we, what people may do unto us. Right, right, right. <clears throat> but, of course, we can control what we do your to others. Your response is your responsibility. And so, yes, you know, sometimes, you know, we may feel that sometimes people do us wrong. Right. In time and time. But the thing is, is that when I, when I hold on to that, when I harbor those those feelings, yeah. when I when I carry those feelings, and you know you carry those feelings because if you if you go to the store and all of a sudden you have to go to the next lane because you just don't want to cross, you already you, that is already uh, telling you there's some ill feelings right there, because if you can't see them genuinely and smile and greet, and there's nothing in here. You're not set free. That person is controlling you. And so, and so the thing is that, yes, sometimes we can't avoid when people wrong us or offend us or hurt us. But now I've got to take it before God. And like you said, I've got to get my heart right. Amen. Not, it's not, well, did I do something wrong? It's not that. But why risk your heart being contaminated? And so now I bring it to God, and I lay it all to him. With all honesty, he already knows. Uh, yeah. And so now the thing is, is be, be honest with him. Be oh, real. God. Like, man, so-and-so hurt me. I can't believe them. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And, you know, and by the you're crying, but he set you free. Yeah. And now if, like the pastor said, now regardless if they call you, or, hey, I'm sorry. Regardless, I'm not, but in your heart, you've, it's gone. It's, it's been forgiven. And you, now when you go to the grocery store, you'd be like, Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> can, 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 I be, can I be open with y'all? Can I be real with you? You know where this teaching came out of? An issue I had. With the person standing closest to me. <laughs> I was offended with her. Hurt. Mr. Paper. And so you know what I did? Because I knew I was under attack. I got to study in this. Because I know the word is sharper than a two-edged sword. Some stuff needs to be cut out of my life. Not her. She don't need to be cut out of my life. But there's some stuff, him was trying to come up. And he was having too much opinion. I was letting him out. And so I had, to, I had to get into some serious prayer. I had to get into some serious word. I had to get in a deep study. This is this where this came out of. Something that I went through with the person I love the most. See, now I can't be, I, I can't, I, 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 because I'm not going to sit up here and sugarcoat and act like I don't go with anything. I'm being real with you. And so I, I don't want you to be ashamed if that happens to you. But do something about it. See, I wasn't going to get lazy and not root this out. No, this is there. Okay, there's something that I need to destroy then. There's something that I need to, this is a mountain that I need to speak to and say, no, you need to get out the way. Amen. 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 And it's, I, I've got to, I, amen. And it happens to all of us. You know what I mean? 
would it be with our spouse or a coworker I mean, or just, our mom, our dad? You, it, it happens to yeah. all of us. You don't get offended with us, do you? Never. Just kidding. Say no. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, that, I mean I'm, I'm just being real. But I did something about it. Oh, what you gonna let, I'm just going to let kid, no, man, I got, I got to get into some study. I studied offense. I heard preach on offense. I heard word on offense. Why? I need to destroy this. Amen. The word, boy, is powerful. Shop into it, so. Or you can sit in it, and you can use your imagination, and you can feed it, and we divorced. Huh? Guys, just want to let y'all know, me and first late, why? Because pride. No, you got to do something about it. It ain't going to go just because you want it gone. Amen? You have to uproot. You have to destroy. You have to throw down. See, I have to throw down, not with her. Even though she'd catch some. But I was throwing down with, with, it's a demon, you know. How you say it, Zaya? No, I, I was like, no, uh-uh. I got to do something about this. See, y'all can't, you, we can't get lazy in your spiritual walk. What comes against you, come back against it. You come against me, well, let me come back against you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pursue faith, peace, and love. All right? Uh, the, uh, will you hand me, Miss Brandy, our tithes? There's y'all. Everyone get an envelope that wanted one? Father, we bring our tithe. We sow our seed. With faith, faith. Love, love, obedience. obedience. We declare... We trust you, Father. In in finances, we trust you. We trust your ways. We don't trust what's going on in the world. We don't trust in money. We trust you. You showed us giving is more blessed to give. So we give with our whole heart, with all our trust. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Money cometh. Come on, I want money cometh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.